Okay, this is my dehumidifier kit. What we want to do is stop the engine corroding internally due to temperature changes and high humidity. So, this bung here goes in the dipstick tube and this here goes in the breather, the top of the accessory case. So this one will go down here into the oil dipstick tube and the other one will go around here into the breather which uh, is here. Well, I've removed the breather pipe already so it goes in there. Okay, and then we have, between those two points, the air is being pumped around in a loop. And here's the parts of the loop. There's the pump, it's an aquarium pump, and there is the silica gel. So the air is being drawn through this loop and kept... At the moment, I've just taken this off and it's reading 33% humidity. Uh, this is just a Tupperware box with a hygrometer in it, which I bought simply because it fits it. So if we take that out, we'll leave that out for a minute and see what it goes up to. The aquarium pump's modified so that uh, we've got it pumping here and here. This is the standard outlet, but I modified that so instead of it sucking the outside air, it's sucking it in this loop. That was where it would normally be sucking the air, through a little filter there, which is blocked off, and instead it's sucking it out the top of the case. Uh, this silica gel, as you can see, it's hardly changed colour. It goes pink when it's saturated, but the other part of this is that the, the whole thing is on a timer, so it doesn't run continually. This runs for about an hour a day. Sorry, uh, two one-hour sessions a day. And that's it, really. All of these things uh, can be bought at various hobby stores. The corks um, I bought to fit the oil dipstick tube and the breather and just drilled them to take that aquarium tube. Uh, I think if I was doing it again, I might use different size tubing because this stuff's a bit of a weird size. It's a fish tank pipe. Anyway, that's it, and it works. And if you're going to leave your engine for any period of time, it's best to not have it start rotting inside. And Lycoming says that anywhere within 100 miles of the coast is classed as a marine environment and uh, if you leave it for more than 30 days uh, you should inhibit it which is a bit of a task especially when you have to factor in de-inhibiting it. Okay I'll try and do a schematic to go with this.